The Impact Lounge is the number one place to be for the real Impact Wrestling fans. Yes. What's up? Hope everybody is well. This is BQ checking in for the lounge. Follow me at BQ Speaks on Instagram and Twitter. Impact Wrestling is really good right now. I mean, it's really good. Yes, they still have hit and miss episodes, but overall, nothing that they're doing is bad. I may have angles I like more than others and some that I dislike, but nothing they're doing is going is going off the rails right now. This is the kind of program that a lot of wrestling fans spend hours on end on social media complaining that their favorite company doesn't provide. They're doing all the right things, listening to the fans, putting on the kind of matches, and giving us the kind of creative that people want to see as a wrestling fan. Most of their creative this year has been pretty unique, and I will say quite difficult to predict. I'm here to tell you, though, that I was 100% sure that I nailed what they were going to do last night in the main event. I'm recording this on 14 September 2018, and last night I watched the main event of Fala Ba challenging Austin Aries for the Impact World Championship. Now, initially, Fala Ba and KM came out while Austin Aries was kicking off the show with Money Moose and Killer Cross. I really thought that it was just leading to a tag match slash squash match with KM and Fala Ba getting their asses kicked against Killer Cross and Moose later in the show. Austin Aries ends up offering up a title shot, and I wasn't quite sure what to expect. I'm sure you weren't either. I figured this was going to be closer to Austin Aries versus Dustin Cameron than what we got, which was an excellent, well-worked, surprisingly entertaining main event. Now, I got a lot of points I want to make, so please listen to the whole audio I think something like this and what they're doing, what they're doing every week is just really overlooked in the big landscape of wrestling. Again, all these things that these wrestling fans, let me put those in quotes, are complaining about. I want this. I want this. I don't see this impact is doing this shit correctly. So let me tell you what I mean. The entire episode of Impact, I'm sitting there, I'm watching. I can't help but tr- but to try and fantasy book and predict what's going to happen. Obviously, Falaba was not going to win the title. And that was really the only thing missing from that match. What I mean was, although the crowd was really invested, that they never believed Falaba was going to win. So a lot of those near falls didn't get the reactions that I really wish they did and the reactions that they should have gotten. Here's the scenario I laid out. I'm thinking, surely, KM is not going to wear that silly-ass outfit for the long term. It's the most unflattering outfit in professional wrestling. I'm looking at Kevin Matthews and I'm saying, okay, this guy is about the same size as Killer Cross and Moose. He's saying Falaba's my best friend. He turned on him once before and we all expect it to happen again. So in my head, Falaba was going to have the match ruined by KM, costing him the win and then teaming up with Austin Aries. It was perfect. In my head, this was perfect. They built this comedy tag team who has gotten extremely over. And what better way to get heat on KM? Instead of trying to push this over comedy team, get heat on KM, give the rub to Falaba, and then have KM join a double. I'm thinking to myself, this is genius. Let me get to the end of the match here in a second. Um, But by the way, if you haven't heard my early Bound for Glory predictions, click the card at the top of this video. Or it'll be at the end of the video as a recommended video as well. Um, And give it a listen. But anyway, Aries and Ba get time. And boy, did they have an entertaining match. They managed to take a comedy character who rarely wins. And they let him shine in the ring. and, And they actually let him try to win the match. I remember years ago as a, uh, as a fan of the product, I was watching. This was before the New Day got big. There was a main event where John Cena teamed with, uh, it might have been all three members in the main event. This was a few years ago. And I read the next day online that Vince wouldn't allow the New Day to get in the match because he didn't trust them in the main event. Um, And then I remember the match and Cena wrestled the entire match. If not, he wrestled 90% of it. That's not what happened here. You take a guy, I don't even want to say he's a jobber because he got some wins, but you know, is a comedy character. Did they let him compete? And this was a this wasn't a squash match. This wasn't a five minute match. 
He was actually out there trying to win. It was a legit title match main event. Now, the end of the match, Austin Aries wins. And boy, was that a beautiful finish. Great transition into the last chance re perfectly executed. KM jumps in, and I'm waiting for him to attack Falaba. And he just get, ends up being the victim of Ares and his goons and their modern-day concerto, which I believe they're calling the Bear Trap. Now, here is something I think Impact Wrestling accomplished. In the way that these two were attacked, where you give Falaba a good 15-17 to 17 match with the, minute match with the world champion, if they want, they can actually transition these guys from comedy to a legit threat in the tag team division. Think about Ali. They had a very difficult time transitioning Ali from airhead to serious wrestler. They couldn't quite find that way out. They paired her with Rosemary, but I think it ended up adding more color to Rosemary than it did darkness to Ali, if that makes sense. Sue Young ultimately became that glue. She, she's one of the MVPs with the company right now. She ultimately became that glue that made something stick with the, with the Ali character and now the new Ali is born. Now, even though I find them very entertaining, I'm not sure KM and Falaba drooling over Scarlet Bordeaux or having rubber matches with the Desi Hit Squad is the way to give these guys, um, you know, a real push at the end. Putting Falaba in the ring with the champ and then building some sympathy in the way that they were when they were taken out after the match was absolutely beautiful. We're probably more concerned... You know, maybe you're not. I don't know, but I feel like everyone's probably more concerned right now about how KM is doing at this point than we are about Johnny Impact. Other wrestling promotions wouldn't have dared give a guy like Falaba 15 plus minutes in the main event of their show. This is what they would have done. They would have given him a BS four minute title match to open the show. The storytelling from the jump was really good. My kids were even invested in the match. They asked us to stay up late. They were into it, hooting, hollering, cheering for Falaba, cheering for the feel-good story. Impact knocked this one out the park. This was also well done. My hats off to Creative Team and the agents over at Impact Wrestling. Make sure to check out my way too early Bound for Glory predictions or my vlog, Impact Wrestling is Cool Again. Click the Impact Lounge logo to subscribe and you'll be connected to the number one place to be for news, reviews, interviews, and more in the world of Impact Wrestling.